Hey guys, so today I just wanted to do a quick update. So I have a Natasha Denona update video. It has been a while since I filmed one of these and I think it's mostly because like nothing's been coming out. <laughs> so yeah, that's why. But um, well actually, okay, so wait. So the concealer came out and I didn't even know about it. Like that one was like an undercover release because I really think that we knew Complexion was coming out but it kind of like shocked us or at least just shocked me. But our, but I'm so excited because my internet detectives have started to tag me on some new releases on Instagram. So what we're gonna do today is I'm going to give you guys a quick little sneak peek of something that someone has sent me and I'll tell you guys what I think it's going to be. Um, so don't forget to hit subscribe. If you don't know, I have a one year challenge. I'm buying everything from Natasha Denona, at least most things. I've done this a lot stricter in the past that I actually buy every single item, but like this year, I don't know, I haven't been like super into a lot of the stuff that has released. So I've put my foot down and not picked up a few launches, but yeah, I'm still doing my one year. She is the primary brand that I buy from. So when she releases something, I usually get pretty excited to pick it up. So if you guys are on Instagram and you follow any makeup account, you may have gotten tagged in this already. So it looks like Makeup Radar or something like that has put up a launch that looks like it's coming out. And Ulta apparently has set up a display of this so i can show it to you guys because it's all over the internet and also it's just a display but it looks like there is going to be a yucca palette <laughs> yucca and it's yellow a yucca palette that's an interesting <laughs> yucca okay so it is 69 us dollars so that to me means midi sized right so it's going to be a midi sized yucca palette now what's interesting is the color it's a vibrant yellow display so what does that mean to me i think that this is going to be a very bright palette so i mean it could go different ways it could either be a green palette right so like yucca yellowies going into the greens or it could be a really fun neon vibrant palette i think either way would actually work right now for summer because vibrant colors are still super in this yellowy color is like one of the colors of the season. If you guys haven't seen my fashion trend finder, I kind of kind of go over like all the Pantone colors that are very in. I would not be surprised if based off the Pantone colors, which I'll just kind of like show you guys on the screen because sometimes designers go by the Pantone colors to create their designs. And we already see that this yellowy color, which I have been seeing in fashion everywhere, is the primary color of the display. So where are we going here? This is, hey guys, I'm cutting into the video because I filmed that video that you're watching right now a few hours before the actual palette got leaked, right? So allegedly the Yuka palette is happening and I know exactly, well, I allegedly, <laughs> I kind of know exactly what it's gonna look like. So I have seen the imagery maybe and um, yeah, I'm gonna share with you guys a few thoughts. So guys, this is pretty. This is really, 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 really pretty. So I'm excited for this one. This is something, I believe it's a little bit different for Natasha. It, it kind of reminds me of like the gold palette, almost on a more olive -y spectrum. So imagine like the gold palette, instead of having like the blues, it had more of like an olive tone to it with, you know, like a little bit of like the oranges and the greens and the browns and, it's actually really pretty. It's pretty. So I feel like if you liked the gold palette, but you didn't want it like more brownish and blue, if you wanted it more like olivey and orangey and all of that good stuff, I think you're gonna really like this. I actually think this is gonna be a really nice one. And I actually do appreciate that it's going more in the green direction. It has more of like those olivey, um, like grungy greens in it. It also has some brights in it, it has some golds, it has, a lot of variation. I think this is gonna be a really cool palette. I really wish I could just show it to you guys. Um, it looks like flannels online kind of leaked the pictures early and it's already kind of floating around Instagram. So my internet detectives that have sent me this over and over and over on Instagram, please leave down below for your friends where they can find it. Um, I usually don't show the images until the brand releases it 
because um, some of these brands do get upset and they will ask for videos to be taken down. So allegedly, Yucca palette is coming out. That's why. So I think if you guys have seen my previous videos, you know why I say allegedly and you also know why the imagery, I don't put it up. But I'm really excited for this one and I actually think she's gonna release it or launch it either today or Monday. Like this has to be coming out right now because it's already been leaked basically. Ulta already had it out, like the display ready, and now we're already seeing imagery, which I really, really like. Leave me your comments down below if you really like this one, because I actually think this is probably, um, this is probably gonna be a big one for her. Besides just really liking this palette, guys, I really think that if you were like really into seeing retro go a little bit more grungy-ish, this is like a deeper version of that. Um, not exactly with the pinks and stuff, but it goes more in the orangey direction. I love this. I don't even know, I can't even tell you. I'm really excited for this palette and I'm hoping that the colors are a little bit less saturated than they look on camera, or at least from what I'm seeing. I hope that they even have more of a faint kind of color tone and not as bright. I think that they will, so I'm excited. I think this is fantastic. So let's jump back into the video that you guys were watching, but I saw it, but there is something coming. If you know Ulta's already doing a display for it, we are about to hear an announcement probably during the long weekend or after the long weekend. I'm sure this is coming like right away. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't hear about it on Friday. Like this is coming very, very soon. So that's actually exciting. We have a palette. Finally, a midi size palette from Natasha. I actually thought that her foundation was probably gonna release first, but I guess that's probably gonna be towards the fall. I'm, I know she's, she has to be coming out with a foundation. And then also, if you see over on the little corner here, there is an extension to the Macro Tech eyeliners. So I, there's black, brown, which she already has the black and the brown, right? So I'm assuming that it's this yellowy color that they're adding, or maybe it's a different formula. Maybe it's a lighter, maybe it's a different formula. Um, I'm not sure, but it does say macro tech extension. I love her eyeliners. I have to use eyeliner like I'm an eyeliner girl. And look, look at my macro tech. I mean, like, look at this thing. It, I don't even, it doesn't even have Natasha Denona on it anymore because I've used the entire thing. So this was my holy grail brown eyeliner. I'm actually half, have to buy another one. I have every single one of the colors that she released before. And actually, there was also like a burgundy-ish color that's not here, so I'm assuming these are probably all three new, right? I don't know, but it has to be. Okay, so the Micro Blade, Micro Blade was the liquid and Macro Tech was the eyeliner, so that's definitely the pencil liners. But yeah, so those are two sneak peeks. Those are two things that are coming out. now. Is it only at Ulta or is it gonna be at Sephora too? Cause you know that Natasha Denona now has just joined Ulta. I told you guys that that was one of our gossips in the beginning of the year that Natasha was launching at Ulta. I actually want both of these items. I love the eyeliner and I cannot wait to see what the palette looks like. And I wanna do a make up your mind. It has been so long since I've done a make up your mind. Now, it's not only my fault because I do know that I've kind of not been as consistent as I used to be in the past and most Mostly because, you know, things have changed, rearranging, um, getting a schedule put in place. And then also the second part to that is makeup has really slowed down this year. I think it's been a relaxation year for most brands. There's not as many palettes launching, so there's not as many make up your minds to do. And then also some of the stuff that has launched hasn't really caught my attention, so I haven't really been inspired. And then Natasha Denona, which is my brand, of the year, she's not releasing that many things. So it really has just been a calm year in general. I also think my life has been very calm too. So everything's just like super chill. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably why, but um, I'm ready for a little bit more excitement. So anyways, so I cannot wait to get these launches. If you have any more chisme on these, which is gossip in Spanish, you guys know that. If you have any more gossip, please leave it down below, tell your friends, and if you've seen the palette, we need details. So comments down below, internet detectives start doing your work, and thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.